This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given three squares and it wants us to find the area of this blue triangle. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, I wanna make an equation for the area of our blue triangle. Let's call this base of our triangle X and this height of our triangle Y. And this Y is also the side length of our large blue square. Does that make sense, Y? And now we have the area of our blue triangle. It'll be one half of the base X times the height y. This is what we're trying to solve. Let's put a box around it. And then next, let's focus on this square here. Since the area is equal to four, the side lengths of the square will each be equal to two. And the diagonal of the square would be equal to two root two. And that can come from these notes right here. The diagonal of a square is always square root of two times the side length of the square. And these notes are based on the notes of a 45, 45, 90 triangle, where the hypotenuse is square root of two times the length of the legs. So now we know that this distance distance right here is two root two. And now we can write another equation. This side length of the square is equal to this side length of the square. So y is equal to x plus two root two. And this looks important. Let's put a box around it and move it down here. I wonder if I can make this bigger. Let's enhance. And let's go from this intersection of these two squares and draw this segment perpendicular to this side. And let's finish up this right triangle. This is going to be a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which means the two legs will be congruent to each other. And the length of these legs is exactly half the diagonal of the pink square. So if the whole diagonal is two root two, the half would be root two. So each of these sides is equal to square root of two. Another way you can think of it is this hypotenuse of this triangle is the side length of the pink square. So it's equal to two. And this hypotenuse needs to be square root of two times the length of these legs. So if the legs are square root of two, the hypotenuse would equal two. And then from this point, let's draw this right triangle. For this lower green right triangle, the hypotenuse is the diagonal of the pink square. And we showed earlier that the diagonal of the pink square is equal to two root two. So the hypotenuse of this lower green right triangle is equal to two root two. And now let's call this last leg a. A plus root two is a side of our blue square. So we can say y is equal to a plus square root of two. And this also looks important. Let's put a box around it. Then let's move it down here because up here we want to do this Pythagorean theorem. It'll be root two squared plus a squared equals the quantity two root two squared. Let's clean this up and solve for a. On the left hand side, square root of two squared is two, and we can copy down the plus a squared. And then on the right hand side, each of these two terms will get their own square. So it'll become two squared root two squared. Two squared is equal to four, and root two squared is equal to two. Four times two is equal to eight, and then from here we can subtract two from both sides. That'll give us a squared is equal to six. Next, we can square root both sides. On the left-hand side, since a is a positive distance, the square root of a squared would be a. And now we have a is equal to the square root of six. We can plug it into here and get y, and then we can get x, and then we can find our area. So let's do that. In the place of this a, we'll plug in root 6 and now we have y is equal to the square root of 6 plus root 2. And now we're ready for this box. In the place of this y let's plug in root 6 plus root 2. And then to solve for x we can subtract 2 root 2 from both sides. On the left hand side 1 root 2 minus 2 root 2 is negative root 2. And then on the right hand side these will cancel each other out. And now we have the value for x. Let's plug it into here. In the place of the x we plug in root 6 minus root 2 and in the place of the y we plug in root 6 plus root 2. This is a difference of two squares. We can use these notes here. If we let this equal a and this equal b we have a minus b times a plus b, and that'll give us a squared minus b squared, or in this case, root six squared minus root two squared. For this term, the square root and the square will cancel each other out, and also for this one. So we have six minus two, which is equal to four, and one half times four is two. Let's smush it together, give it a label of square units, and put a box around it. This is the answer to our question. In the given diagram, the area of this blue right triangle is equal to two square units. It's exactly half of either of these squares. 
How exciting. If you want to fine tune your geometry or algebra skills so it'll be easier to solve problems like the one in this video, Brilliant.org has you covered. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in all the best topics, math, the data analysis, programming, and the sciences. And all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. I love going through these tricky geometry challenges, but sometimes it's hard to know what to do next. With Brilliant, it's easy to know what to do next. The lessons are all in a logical order, and if you're ever stuck on a step, Brilliant has carefully crafted hints and explanations a click away. It really is a fun way to learn. And for math, they have courses on geometry, algebra, calculus, linear algebra, probability, all the fun math classes. They also have tons of science courses. To try Brilliant for free, visit brilliant.org slash antimath or scan the QR code on screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.